All right, so let's take a look to see how we could create a method that would be able to take as an input an array and then swap out two members of that array. All right, here we go. So let's imagine for a moment that we need to create this array and we're going to call it, um, let me see, public void uh, swap array. And we're going to allow it to receive a, uh, an array. And we're going to go like this. We're going to say um, uh, the array like that. And we're going to say that we want to receive values for the, uh, um, the, the two members of the array that need to be swapped. So int i and int j like that. Okay, so open the curly brace like that. And now what we do is we need to create a temporary variable inside that will hold one of those elements. So int temp value like that. We're going to set that to a value of zero. And now we're going to say uh, the array, no, we're going to say temp value. We're going to hold on to the value from position i. So we're going to say the array i like that. And then we're going to say uh, we want to take the value in position j and put it in i because we've, we've made a copy of what was in position i. So we're going to say the array at i is equal to the array at j. And now j's value has been placed in the i position. So now I can take the temp value and put it in position j. So like that is equal to temp value like so. Like that, close the curly brace. And we've done it. We've created the method. Now, with this method, what's going to happen is we're not actually going to pass in the whole array. We're going to pass in a reference to that array. A um, uh, basically what it is is a um, uh, an indication for where the array actually resides in memory. And so we're actually going to do some uh, work on that from the outside of that that array. If that makes any sense. Um, but when it, the, the method is all done, the array will have been changed. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go, um, we're going to say swap array like that. And, uh, oh, no, I actually have to make an array. Okay, so we're going to go int like that. And we're going to call it my array. And we're going to put values in it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 like that. Now, I now have something called, it's a variable called my array. My array contains five values. I go my array dot length. It should tell me, yeah, I have five values and it has a length of five. Okay. And so that's it there, that five right there. The dollar sign three is a temporary variable called dollar sign three. And the length is five. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, swap array. So I'm going to call this method. I'm going to pass in uh, basically the location um, or reference to the array. And I called the array my array like that. And I want to swap out the values in position zero with the value in position one. So I'm going to swap the two first ones that. And I shouldn't have used curly braces. I should have used a regular parenthesis. Okay, so my method has been run. Here, even with a semicolon, I can run it like that. Um, and so now what I need to do is take a look at what happened to my array. Oh, I called it twice. Hold on. <laughs> Try it again. Swap it around now. Now let's take a look at my array. There we go. Position zero and position one have been switched around. Okay, now let me try and call that method again. And zero and one should be back to where they were. Okay. Originally. Yeah, and there they there they are. So 10 and 20 right there. Uh, just for giggles, let's try and swap three 
and four. Zero, one, two, three, and four. So the 40 and the 50 have changed. Let's swap it back. And there we have it. Okay, now, uh, there you go. So I've created a variable that is uh, of type uh, integer, what's well, an array of integers. I've created a method and I've been able to modify that array by swapping values inside of it. All right, good luck everyone. Mm -hmm.